so you're giving Brexton a ride around the racetrack. Was that something that was spur of the moment? He actually asked. Like so right I, there in the moment. Yeah, right yeah. there on the racetrack. How did you get it cleared right there? I as, as soon as he asked me, I stood up and I, the NASCAR official was standing right there like, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, you know? And I was like, hey, will, will they let Brexton get in the car? And so then he called it up and I was getting in and then they said yes, that, yeah. that he was allowed to do that. So I was really, really thankful for yeah. that because that was a, a special moment, man. Like I saw, I saw, I think he got the idea from Keelan, Keelan. obviously, mm -hmm. with Kevin. And, um, you know, I think they kind of frowned upon that, but I, I think it's cool. I mean, they're not hurting anything in there. Hell, he only weighs 45 pounds. I would promise you from, from the booth and from people watching on TV, it's an yeah. amazing thing to see. And yeah. As, especially anyone who's a parent knows exactly what you're going through in that moment and how Brexton is going to always remember that. Mm -hmm. So uh, going I back, loved that for him. Because for sure. For me being a dad, I mean, he asked. And so to be able to give anything that you can possibly give for your kids. Yeah, how do you tell your kid no in that moment? Exactly, right? And <laughs> right. I, I I didn't want, I wasn't going to say no because I was like, hell yeah, boy, let's go, you know? Yeah. Um, so it was cool. So go back to the emotions. You know, we, we you know, hardly ever see those type of emotions out of you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, where does that come from? And, and I, you know, a lot of people said you were subdued, even measured, but it was more, uh, you, there was some, 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 not sadness, but the tears. I mean, how, how does that happen to Kyle Busch? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I don't know, but it's I got, just, You got that sort of soft side in there somewhere. Come on, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> All anybody ever wants to see or know of me is, is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. right? And when I come into a racetrack for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, each and every weekend, like, I have one thing that, that I focus on that I got to worry about, and that's me and my race team and going out there and being able to perform and being able to win the race. Like, yeah, the fans are great. I appreciate them and what they do for our sport and how they kind of come out and they pull for us and Rowdy Nation, Junior Nation, whatever. We, we know what they mean to us. But to me, like, this is my work. Like, this is what I focus on. And, and look, even at home, when I'm at home and I got to sacrifice time with my son or my wife or whatever, like, because of the work ethic that I have to put into what I do, whether it's the truck team, whether it's my cup team or whatnot, like, this is all I have. Yeah. This, this is what I do. So to, I think the emotion comes from... A, we did it. B, everything that we've just done and gone through and all that is, has been so worth it. And you just know that you've succeeded in that moment and you've been able to pay back all your team guys and all the people at Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota and M&Ms and every, Interstate Batteries, everybody that works so hard and gives you everything that you have. And that to me is, is where the emotion sets in. Like when we win races, yeah, that's cool. You know, we win races, we can go on into next week. We lose races, we can go on into next week. But when you win a championship, man, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Was there, was some of that emotion because of how you won this championship? And I think back to the first championship you won, the injury, the pain from that injury, being in the hospital thinking about your season and what's next for you, yeah. going through the rehab. People think about how you came back and won, but everything that happened even before that was hard, hard, hard work just to get healthy come back, win the race, get into the playoffs, win the championship, to win it normally, like the easier way, the normal way, the way everybody else wins championships, yeah. was there some satisfaction there? No question there's satisfaction there, for sure. Um, but to me, I always was gonna, even if I never won another one, I was always gonna live in my, my own that I was a champion. Like yeah. I won that championship under all the rules and circumstances that were given to me, we, we won. Yeah. And uh, nobody was ever gonna take that away from me. But to be able to come out here this time and, and to win a championship uh, again um, here at Homestead Miami Speedway and, and to give it everything that we had for the whole season long and for people to kind of write us off into the last third of the season because we weren't great. Um, booyah. Yeah, you they talk got, about They it. got wamboozled. <laughs>